Okay, so this is Dr. Buford. We're just getting started on your right shoulder. I'm just tightening up the camera here a little bit. Okay, good. And so now as we have our first look around, we can start to see some of the things going on. This is your biceps tendon on the left. And that tendon itself looks good, but the problem is, look down, uh, crochet hook or something, yeah, that's fine. If you look down at the insertion here, this is very loose, okay? This is definitely what we call a slap leash, and you can see the fraying at the edge. You can see how here's the biceps tendon, but every time the biceps tugs, you can see what happens here. Okay, so that's not great. We're going to have to do something for that. Um, you can see how that completely lifts off all the way around. This may be loose enough that we actually have to anchor down the uh, labrum here, and so I'll show you how we do that. We're going to go ahead and place a shaver in here and hold the camera and the shaver allows me to remove some of the cartilage hold real still because I need good pictures here and now with these uh, with the shaver here we're going to remove this cartilage off the superior glenoid okay so in just a minute you'll see the cartilage as we remove it you'll see kind of the yellowish bone here and when we're doing a slap repair in situ this is an important step in order to create a space for this to heal to. And so as we push in here and look down and rotate the camera around, keep going around to about 5 o'clock, other way. Yeah, you can see we're starting to get to a spot here. I don't think we've quite gotten there. There's still yellow cartilage, so we'll stay on this view. And now we'll see if we're making any progress. Yep, there you can start to see some of the yellow bone. This is an important step in my opinion because we need to have some exposed bone for this to heal. It's not going to heal directly back to the cartilage. So, Otherwise we could just do injections all day long and hold you still and it would heal, but that doesn't happen. Okay, so now that that's prepared, we're going to get our double-loaded Y-knot suture anchor. It's a 1.8 millimeter double-loaded Y-knot suture anchor that we need because we're going to have to do this labor repair before we release the biceps. The problem is if I release the biceps, this is still going to be very, very loose. And I've got to anchor that down before I release the biceps so that that will still provide an anchor point for the ligaments in the shoulder. While we're getting our suture anchor, I just want to show you, this is the tear in the rotator cuff up at the top of the screen. And so this is where we're going to be repairing the rotator cuff. We'll show you some more there in a little bit. But the next step is to go ahead and place an anchor down into the bone here. And we're getting ready to do that for you. Okay, so you can see the guide coming in. This is the guide to place the suture anchor, but um, first step is we need to drill a hole for the anchor. I got it, I got it, I got it. And so, that, that drills the hole. Next we get the anchor. Come closer. And then we get the mallet. And now that the anchor's down, we'll back it out. The inserter, that is. And now you can see there's two, this is trash, there's two double loaded, or there's two sutures coming off of that double loaded anchor and so I'm pulling tight that's very solid we're going to try and do this with a, a, a little bit different technique here we'll take a, a a shuttle relay and show you how we do that in a minute okay so now we're going to take some sutures out of the way here just like that okay 
And now what you'll see on the right, on the left side of the screen, is I'm going to bring a suture hook in, and that's going to allow me to, to pass some sutures back and forth here. Okay, step one is done. You can see how we've got that first suture tied. And you can see how that's recreated that bumper there. That's why we're doing that. If we don't do that, even if we release the biceps, that's still going to be super loose. We've still got one more to do over here just to further secure the labrum at the top of the shoulder. Okay, so now you can see that. That looks pretty good. Now we can release the biceps, and, and some people would ask why we're we releasing the biceps if you just did a slap repair, and the reason is that, as we've talked about, you're an overhead athlete at a high level, and I, I'm very concerned that you would get very stiff if we repair your rotator cuff and do a slap repair. So I think this is going to be something that gives you a much better chance to get back to the same level, at least in my experience. This has a much higher success rate of doing it the way that we're doing it. But uh, I just want to, wanted to give you an interval picture here just to show you that we've made good progress here. We'll show you some more in just a minute. Okay, so what we've got going on now is we've got a spinal needle coming through the biceps. This is going to give me a, just a temporary fixation on the biceps. We're going to be using a suture, a free hi-fi suture. We're going to be using a, a suture anchor or securing it with a suture anchor a little bit later. Cut that off. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you've done a slap repair and a biceps tenotomy so far. That labrum is repaired. That looks much better to me. And now we've got the biceps secured. We're going to be tenodicing that a little bit later. But uh, so far, so good, huh? So we're going to finish here, and we're going to get to work on the other part of the rotator cuff. I'm going to take our shaver and see if we uh, can do a little bit of provisional work here on the articular side. So in the meantime, we'll go off on the video. The next thing we show you will be up in the subacromial space. Okay, so here's the tear. That smooth white stuff, that's the articular cartilage on the humeral head. The camera's lateral, spinal needle's lateral. That's the posterior aspect, and that's the anterior aspect of your shoulder. And so we're just trying to see, we know this goes back a little bit more posterior, but I don't want to take down any more tendons. So I think I'm going to put my first anchor here. And the odds are we're going to need a second anchor up here, but that actually looks pretty good right there. I think I don't need to take any more tendon down there. So what we'll do is we'll place our first anchor here, and we might even be able to tie our sutures for our biceps over the top of that. So we'll go ahead and get to work here. Okay, so we've got the anchor down. You can see it there. There's the overall picture. I'm going to take out one of these black and white striped sutures first. We'll keep working here. When we show you again, you're going to see that this cuff is anchored down. But that's the overall picture right there of the tear. Okay, we're all done here. Let me show you where we're at. We've got the cuff repaired with three sutures right there. That looks good. Let me see if I can focus better than that. That's a little better. And if we rotate the camera around, if you look to the right, you'll see the bicep suture right there. And that tissue is very solid. And we've got everything anchored. We've got the tenodesis completed. And so we're going to finish up here and get you back to the recovery room shortly. Just making sure there's nothing else to worry about here. Okay, that looks pretty good. So good luck to you now. Bye-bye.